power of compounding. It's an amazing thing. Today we're talking about compound interest. So if you have money sitting in a bank, uh, let's say $10,000, and uh, you're earning 6% uh, interest uh, on this money every single year, how much money will you have at the end of three years? So here's where compounding interest comes into play. Here's how it works. We're going to take our simple interest formula, which is future value equals present value times 1 plus i. We're going to plug in these numbers. So here we go, year one. So 10,000 times point, uh, 1 plus 0 0.06 equals you will have $10,600 10, bucks in your account at the end of year one. So now we take this amount and we start out with year two. And I'm going to do this on the calculator. 10,600 times 1.06 equals $11,236. So, year three, that's what we're starting out with. So, year three, at the beginning, we have this much in our account. Multiply it by our equation here, and we get $11,910. That's how much you'll have in your account at the end of three years. This is the power of compounding. Now, this is the long way. We just did it the long way. I'm going to show you the easy way how to figure it out. Just take our simple interest formula right here. And you put an exponent right there, that's the number of periods. So now if I was to rewrite our equation, so I'm taking this 1 plus 0 0.06 to uh, to the third power, because this is our number of periods, and you will get so you'll notice this right here is the same answer as we had before. This right here is the formula for compounding. This is compounding interest.